Now this is the next question we have that is question number 158 which says which of the following compounds can form a zwitter ion? The options are aniline. Let us draw the structures of these options. First is aniline. Second option is acetanilide. Third option given is glycine. And the fourth option is benzoic acid. Students only that compound will form the zwitter ion which contains both acidic as well as basic group. The zwitter ion is a bipolar ion containing positive as well as negative charge. So, out of these option only glycine can form because it has basic group here as well as acidic group. So, glycine at its isoelectric point will form zwitter ion. So, the correct answer for this question is option 3 that is glycine. Now, let us move to the next question. Now, let us solve question number 159 which says the redox reaction MnO4 minus plus C2O4 2 minus plus H plus gives us Mn2 plus plus CO2 plus H2O. The correct coefficients of the reactants for the balanced equation are these are the options given. The coefficient for per magnet oxalate ion and H plus are respectively 16 5 2 in first option, 2 5 16 in second option, 5 16 2 in third option and 2 16 5 in the fourth option. Students let us balance this chemical equation. Now, let us solve this question. Let us balance this chemical reaction. We have permagnet ion, oxalate ion C 2 O 4 2 minus plus H plus. This gives us M N 2 plus plus carbon dioxide and water. We will add water later. First of all balanced all the atoms except oxygen and hydrogen. We will write 2 moles of CO2 because we have 2 carbon atoms in the reactant and the rest atoms that is manganese and carbon is balanced. Now, let us find the net change in the oxidation state of the reactants. The oxidation state of manganese here is plus 7. Yahan par carbon ka jo oxidation state hoga, we have two carbons ka oxidation state calculate karenge. Why two carbons? Because we have two carbon atoms in this oxalate ion. So, 2 x will be equal to plus 6. Yahan par magnesium ka oxidation state kitna hai? Plus 2. Aur yahan par two carbons ka jo oxidation state aayega, that will be plus 8. Now, the change in oxidation state here is 5. So, oxidation number decreases by 5 here. The change in oxidation state here is 2. So, oxidation number changes by 2. Cross multiply these, multiply this equation by 2 and multiply this equation by 5. Multiply these values and write the equation again. We can write this equation as 2 times of per magnet MnO4 minus plus 5 times of C 2 O 4 2 minus gives us 2 times of M n 2 plus plus 10 times of C O 2. We have H plus here. Now, we will write water molecules on that side where oxygen atoms are less. We can see on the reactant side we have 8 plus 20, 28 oxygen atoms. 
on the product side we have 20 oxygen atoms. So, we will have to add 8 molecules of water on the product side. So, we will have 8 water molecules on the product side. Why 8? Because we have 8 oxygen less on the product side. And in order to balance the hydrogen atoms, we will have to add 16 H plus. So, the coefficients are 2, 5 and 16. Let us go through the options. 2, 5 and 16 is an option 2. So, the correct answer for this question is option 2.